Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple dish called hot pot. And this dish works extremely well with my fast cooking system, and with the exception that you do not do it with stir frying. Instead, you will be boiling your food. You might say that sounds very boring, but it actually not at all. I have served this dish to many of my friends, both young and old, who has never had hot pot before. I've yet to find people that they find hot pot not to be enjoyable and fun, and the reason is very simple: because you cook your own food. If you have fondue before, you will understand the basic concept of hot pot. Instead of using melted cheese, you will use hot boiling water. As my friend Lena would say, that、uh, the water is much cheaper than cheese, as well as healthier. Lena is about my age, and I will call ourselves mature. We are both in our early seventies, and we were both born in Shanghai. I moved to Hong Kong when I was about six years old, and Lena did not immigrate to the United States until she was in her forties. And we both have wonderful memories of hot pot. It is frequently a meal that served in the winter time. And for many part of China, it is a traditional meal for Chinese New Year Eve. And there are many different versions of this hot pot dish. Some are more complicated than others. But the basic idea is that you put whatever you can find in the hot pot. Most of the time, mainly vegetables. You will add some meat, which you will cook yourself. You retrieve whatever you like from the hot pot, and you dip it in a dipping sauce that you will make to your own liking. So, okay, let me show you how I set up our hot pot dish last night, which is a very simple version. And for my wife, the simpler is better. For our hot pot, I use a, what you would call a mini hot pot. It is basically an electric hot plate、uh, with a stainless steel pot on top of it, and it is a perfect size for two to three people.、Uh, for most people, they just use a hot plate and they put some sort of a pot on top of it.、Uh, setting up the hot pot could not be simpler,、uh, particularly if you have done advanced prepping. I start out filling the pot with about half full with water. I find some regular cabbage in the refrigerator.、Uh, normally, I would like to use Napa cabbage, but in this case, this cabbage will do. A cabbage has very long shelf life in the refrigerator, particularly if you have prepped them.、Uh, this cabbage probably have been in the refrigerator for over a month, and they still in really good shape. I'm going to heat up all the. Ingredients in my stainless steel pot、uh, on my flat top electric stove. I let the water to come to boil as I am looking for other ingredients in the refrigerator. I still have some maitake mushroom left in the refrigerator that my friend Ryan gave it to me, and the hot pot would be a great dish for me to use them up.、Uh, since I already have a prep, so it is easy for me to、uh, locate them and put them into the hot pot. A mushroom generally goes really well with hot pot, and you can use all kinds of mushrooms. And then I also found some white butter mushroom in the refrigerator, which I'm going to add to the hot pot. A general guideline in choosing the type of vegetable to be used in the hot pot is that make sure those vegetables do not disintegrate easily、uh, after you boil them. A cabbage is usually is a very good choice. Other so-called relatively tough vegetables such as kale, chars are also excellent to be used in hot pot. But for most of the time, cabbage is definitely a safe bet. A Napa cabbage is by far the most popular type of a vegetable to be used in hot pot. Another great ingredient to be in used in hot pot is tofu. Alina told me that every time when she has tofu in the hot pot, it reminds her the time when she was growing up. 
China was very poor, and they never had any opportunity、uh, to eat much meat. However, tofu is plentiful, and she always find that tofu is a great meat substitute. And she told me that her grandmother used to make their own tofu. And she recalled that they used a stone grinder to grind up the soybean. And she would always help her grandmother up to push the grinder. She told me that that is the best tofu that she ever had. But more importantly, she says did bring back a lot of memories about her childhood, particularly about her grandmother she deeply loved. And for her, every time when she has hard part, it's a trip down the memory lane. And today for her, tofu is definitely one of her favorite food. I always use firm tofu for hard part. Because they stand up much better、uh, when you boil them in the pot. Okay, as the water come to boil, I'm going to transfer this stainless steel pot、uh, to the hot pot, hot place that I already placed on top of the table. As I've mentioned, there are many different versions of hot pots.、Uh, in addition to vegetables,、uh, many hot pots also serve with meat, such as chicken, beef, and shrimp. Uh, all meats are usually bring to the table as uncooked.、Uh, each diner will cook their own meat、uh, in a small stainless steel basket.、Uh, you put the meat in the basket、uh, so that it will keep it where you want them. An advantage of this approach is that you can choose whatever the meat that you want, and then you can cook them to the right doneness as you prefer. For this hot pot meal,、uh, I use two different kinds of meat. That is chicken and shrimp.、Uh, I have chicken already prepped and stored in the package that I can thaw them out in about ten minutes.、Uh, these are the same chicken that I use for stir frying.、Uh, since shrimps are individually frozen, so thawing them out is relatively simple. And and then you eat the vegetables and the tofu's together with the meat that you cook for yourself, and this is the fun part of the meal.、Uh, you share the vegetables, but you can choose the meat that you like. I think because of this reason,、uh, almost everybody who has hot pot with me before really enjoy the process.、Uh, this is particularly true for children because they have a sense of autonomy. Uh, usually, a sauce is created to eat with these vegetables and meat, and there are many different versions for this type of sauce.、Uh, the sauce I like most with soy sauce with a hot chili oil sauce. I also use a sriracha sauce as well, and you can use almost any sauce that you like.、Uh, for carbohydrates, I frequently prefer rice. But for my wife, she prefer noodles, so I always have rice and noodles available、uh, to go with this hot pot meal.、Uh, this hot pot meal take advantage of advanced prepping. It take less than twenty minutes to set up, and it create a wonderful meal, very healthy, nutritional, but most importantly, very tasty. And if you never try hot pot before. Uh, I would strongly recommend you to give it a go. You probably like most people that you are going to really enjoy this.、Uh, this is a demonstration of the application of my fast cooking system. I post a video each day to、uh, help people to learn more about my fast cooking system. And if you are interested in adopting my fast cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.、Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.